roads. Unfortunately, we are looking now at the southbound 101. Look at how slow going this is. That is because we had two sig alerts. One of them is still in effect. We did have an accident involving three cars blocking three lanes there, so be aware the 101 is really slow going. Also a crash on the westbound 91 to the 110. This is a two car crash and it is blocking one lane there. Taking a look at your drive into downtown. As you can see, everything looking pretty good. We are seeing some residual slowing on the 101. As you can see from that sig alert and this yellow back here, that is the 10 heading westbound out of downtown into the Santa Monica area, but everything else looking pretty great on the 110 and the five there in downtown. Looking at the 14, we did have a crash earlier. It has cleared to the right shoulder, but we're seeing a lot of we did have an earlier grass fire here on the five at the 14 that is out now. That's your latest look at traffic. We'll have another update. I do too. <laughs> that makes you feel any better. Uh, you know what? We're pretending it's more like June gloom, May gray sort of weather with that deep marine layer. Took a long time for that to burn off, but we actually need the moisture. Very well could be very hot and dry this time of year. That has not been the case, so we'll take it while it, it, it sticks around because it's only going to be for about a few more days. We're looking live right now at LAX. We did finally see some clearing late afternoon into the early evening hours with those clouds, the fog, and the drizzle all moving back in by early tomorrow morning 72 for the high downtown normal high 83 degrees so temperatures generally running about 10 degrees below where they should be all across the south end currently we are anywhere from 70 degrees downtown at LAX into the mid 60s low 70s in Burbank Irvine at 70 degrees 79 in San Bernardino and 77 degrees at this hour in Riverside you can see how that marine layer very deep about 3,000 feet deep and eventually started to push out late this afternoon, but again, we'll be rolling in once again overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. That all will change as this area of low pressure slowly starts to drift off to the east. High pressure builds in and what that's going to do is eventually start to clear out this marine layer. We're going to see more and more sunshine and with more and more sunshine. Well, our temperatures will be able to warm up and I know we're all looking forward to that. We need some beach weather and it will happen just in time for the weekend.